More than two years since COVID-19 first exploded across the country and cases are finally seeing a downward trend. But for the men and women in healthcare, the fight isn't over. Our Katrin Asaf is live now at UAMS where frontline workers are still working to heal. Katrin. Ashley, it may seem to many as though we are in the back stages of this virus. Our total active case count in the state is now below 1,000, and you won't need these to get into most places anymore. But here at UAMS, the lingering effects of COVID are still being felt. It's a small sort of luxury. Dr. Robert Hopkins working in person at his desk at UAMS, answering questions while he types away, speaking with someone in the room. I have missed the days of seeing people's whole faces. It's a far cry from where we were months ago, talking over the internet or covered in front of a never ending testing line. But today, fortunately, we've got very low numbers. We've got five or six patients in the hospital uh, with COVID. Leaving Hopkins to focus on something more normal. High blood pressure, diabetes and liver and kidney disease and people having accidents. Those don't stop. But as these halls fill with new cases, those that work here still linger in the pandemic. It seems harder for a lot of people to to smile or make a little bit of light of things so that the hard parts aren't quite as hard. Hopkins says although time moves on, the toll of something like COVID can't be walked away from. A different world. But through the struggle and grief, there are also positives. We have built out and we think about testing for viruses very differently than we did before COVID. New discoveries about the world and how best to heal, to give back to those who take care of all the rest. I think kindness, I think communication, I think smiles, whether with our eyes or with our face, the whole face, are really an important piece of helping us be the Arkansans that we always have been. Now, Hopkins says we do still have to be cautious. There are still COVID variants out in the U.S. that could be more contagious than others. And there's still a good number of people who are not fully vaccinated. So he says keep a hold of these. Keep it in your pocket if you're headed to a crowded location or indoors and you'd like to keep yourself a little extra safer. And then also, of course, to keep up with those shots as best you can. Reporting in front of UAMS, Katrin A. Saf, back to you.